we know you get stuck on us. Let's go. Hello and welcome to Gorgon Gold Bar. Yeah. Gorgon yeah. podcast. Every time we'll be a Gorgon. So for um, our Gold Bar or study room, um, we are going to be going through this bilingual reading material for learners of Korean, Korean culture in 100 keywords. This book is by Cho Yongi, Han Yoongi, and Cho Hyeong. So I chose for us to go through this um, book because um, I think it's just a really good text. It has lots of cool stuff in it, uh, many different topics. It has various levels. And since so many people are learning Korean, want to learn Korean, I thought this would be a good place to start because it does have 100 keywords. Yes, I, yes, it does have 100 keywords and the, and 100 is, is very long. And this book is very long, so you, you can probably read it every day if you wanted to. Okay, so on the back it says, Learning a language is the starting point of finding a culture. This book has been developed with a clear purpose of guiding the learners of Korean using 100 keywords that encompass Korean culture. Accordingly, the book has divided text by difficulty, indicated by an asterisk, and use vivid and concise text <coughs> to thoroughly explore Korean culture's uh -huh. various aspects, which continue yeah. to this day. In addition, the book will allow the user to find the deep undercurrents that individually integrate many things, including Korean televised dramas and dolmens, K-pop and pansori, Hanyu and Confucian ideology, Buddhist remains, and cutting-edge science. In particular, living images and cultural texts will allow the learners of Korean to become immersed in the Korean culture, thus helping them to learn words and grammar in a positive manner. Okay, so 100 interesting facts, I guess. Um, this book is quite long, um, and we're not sure exactly how many lessons we should do each session. So um, just today, um, our first Sunday coming up with the Gong Bang and our first real weekend, um, on the Bird Jam podcast, um, we want you, Honey Pot, to um, you know not not be overwhelmed. So um, please do comment down below any questions you may have throughout. Um, I, if you are joining us via YouTube, then you will have the list up on the on the screen. Once I get to the keywords, you will also have um, the text. I will put the text on the screen as well, so you'll be able to view everything um the korean text anyway i uh, i will not be putting the english text um unless koreans would like me to do that um at, right now i just didn't think i was going to I, I, my plan was not to put the english because i i figure most people are going to be um either native english speakers or english as a second language speaker so um they would um not need the english text but guys if you do want the english text Please let us know. Lily will be reading the English text to you, and I will be reading the Korean text. So, our first lesson is um, our first section actually is called Sangjinru. Sangjinru, and that is the symbolic icon. Hey, I need to pull. Oh, me. sorry. Symbolic icons. So, the first lesson is Hangul. Hangul. Yes, so that is going to be the first thing we are reading. We could go through each lesson and read all of the topics in that section, but I think it would become too long and um, probably um, take up too much time from your day. We want you guys to have to so so you can like watch this video, but but also so so it won't take a long time. So if you have anything else you have to do, like your mom. I'm telling you to take out the trash, and you said that you would do it later after you watch this video. You, you, and you can just do that when you're done. Yes, we we just want you to, you know, enjoy the time as always. And um, yeah, so let's jump into it. So this first section said Hangul. Yay! And it has some cool Hangul written on it, little image. Cool. So I will read this. I will say that I am not that great at reading numbers, so please do bear with me. Uh, <laughs> also, so I might have, maybe I will have some stuttering because, like, sometimes I stutter while reading. Yeah, so this is 
um, also a way for me to improve my reading and Lily to um, hopefully get better in her area of stuttering. Again. Again, yes. So let's get started. First, we are actually starting with the keyword. So the first word is hunger. Hunger Korean alphabet. Next, Gorja. Letter character. It sounds like like on podcast Gorja. Yeah, it does sound similar to Gorja, but it's Gorja. Everyone, Gorja. Next, Joseon Shide. The era of Joseon Destiny. Dynasty. Our oh, dynasty. <laughs> That's okay. Sejong Se Daewon. King Sejong the Great. Eight. Mm -hmm. Kai Myung Hada. To invent. Hanja. Hanja Chinese character. Sa Yong Hada. To use. The verb with Jiman. Mini but. Yes, verb, comma, but. Hexong. The people. Peugu. To learn. Orepta. To be difficult. Kwerefo. So therefore, shipke, eerily. So verb can u or ita. Can we? It is possible to be. Makes no sense. Be is verb. So it's a verb word. So verb is an action. And in Korean, verb is dongsa. Okay. So be dodo. For we is to do. Yeah, so that's verb with ing to do something else. So verb double. And then se gurja. Se gurja. Blue letter. Mandurta. Kumin. Kumin jongle. Kumin jongle. In ira go gurja. To call. We had four pardon sorry correct slash proper sound in Iranian to see that to mean and chone at first originally modu all cha letter tau constant consonant a consonant Consonant. Consonant. And that was tau. Next, mon. Vowel. In man. Only in. In is now. Nama ita. To remain. Person kiguan. Local organ. Bon dada. To be designed slash modeled after. Honor. Heaven sky. Bang. That's ground. Moya. Shape. Keyboard. Basic. Wahakyo. Scientific. Doktanjo. Unique. Weibugen. Foreigner. That's what we are. Well, we are. Well, we are. Half. half foreign, half Korean. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're talking to me. So, so, half alien. Yeah, you are. You're way gay. I think Akmu would like it. Okay, guys, there's also going to be two questions that we will be reading after we read the Korean part. So, will it be like a quiz? It is a quiz. Yes. So, we will let you know when it is a good quiz time. The super cool. Quiz, quiz, quiz. We'll be after we're done with reading this stuff. All right. When we're close to the end of the video. So I will start. Hangul and Hangul get good jai dam. Chan sa bek sa ship yet sam yang. Cho san shi de. Chan sam bek gush ship e yang. Puto. Chan gu bek. Ship Yan Kaji Sejong Dewa Chan Sabe Gu Ship Chi Yang Puto Chan Sabe Gu Ship Yang Kaji E Tam Yang Hetam Kajan Enen 
반자를 사용했지만 백성들은 배우기가 어려웠다. 그래서 세종대왕은 백성들도 쉽게 사용할 수 있도록 새 구조를 만들었다. 그리고 그것은 흥미정금이라고 불렀다. 흥미정금은 백성을 가르치기 위한 바른 소리라는 뜻이다. 처음에는 모두 28차였지만 지금은 차원 14자 모 10자로 24자만 남아있다. 자원은 사람의 발성 기관을 본다고 만들었다. 모음은 하늘, like a circle, 땅, like the underline, 사람, computer L, 왜 모양을 본다고 기본 모음을 만들었다. 과학적이고 독창적인 한글은 외국인들도 맞아요. 쉽게 배울 수 있다. All right, guys. So I will read. Uh, we will read the questions to you, and then we will read the English. And at the end, we will see if you know the answers to the questions. Yes. Okay. Let's so read. stay tuned for that. And stick around if you really want to do it. All right. So you can be thinking about it since we just heard the Korean. And see if you can answer it before we get to the answers in English, okay? Ah, so the cool, good, quick time. Let's go. All right, number one. Hunmin Jungleman, what's your question? Hunmin Jungleman, do you mean? Now, what does it mean? What does it mean, guys? Yes, yes, so yes. you have to be thinking about in your head what you heard from the from the passage. Also, no cheating. If you cheat, <laughs> then you then you no, can. Then this one has the image up. I'll probably rewind it to see. You know, you guys can go back in the podcast. Oh yeah. And um, listen to that part again. Say, oh, what was the answer? And so number two. Sejong Tenghuangun, where Hongur Mandas in the town? Why did he say on the great creation in Hongur? I don't actually know why. You don't know why? He said it. So, Lily said she doesn't know why, so that means she wasn't really paying attention to her mother reading either. Um, actually, I learned this in my KIIP program, which is the Sahe Tungha program here in Korea. It is a government program. Um, and I actually learned about that, and that was actually on one of the tests. So, Lily, now it's your turn to read the English. Yay! Hangul is the Korean alphabet. It was invented in 1443 uh, and 1443 by King Sejong the Great, 1397. And two? Two. 1450 during the Joseph and Joseph and Dynasty Dynasty 1390 to 1910 before the invention Handa Chinese characters was used, but it was difficult for the ordinary non elect people. Really? To Elite people to learn. That is why King Sejong the Great created the new characters who are easy used by the people. The new alphabet was called Hanmi. Hunmin Jungle. Hunmin Jungle. Hunmin Jungle really means the proper sounds to teach people. Originally, it had 28 letters, but only 24 letters remain at precept. Consisting of fourteen con consonant consonants consonants and ten vowels. The consonants were designed after human vocal organs. The basic vowels are designed after the shapes of heaven. The circle. Earth. 
the underline. I already learned about this in school, by the way. Oh, good. And human. And it looks like the lowercase L on the computer. Well, most scientific and unique Hangul can be easily can be easily learned by foreigners too. Hello, that's me on the corner. <clears throat> All right, guys. So, did you hear the answers to the question? So, once again, the question number one was. Human Jongaman, So the answer is Human Jongam literally means the proper sound to teach the people. Or uh Karuchi Bu Mihan Paran Sori. And then Number two, Sajan Dewangan, where Hong Google Mandaras in the car. Why did King Sejong create the great create in Hong Google? And the answer to this one is. Oh, my person? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he created the new character for easy use by the people. And as you already heard, uh, it was called the new jungle. So, he wanted it to be used by everyone, for ordinary people as well. So, he says, So guys, that is all for our thing. Good job, go Well, that's it already. Yeah. So are we going to do one just like, Every time we do this, uh, it's up to the people. So actually, in this section, which was the hold on, let me go see what it was called again because I forgot. Um, in this section, the project word symbolic icon. There are actually ten lessons in this section, but I feel like if we did all ten at once, it may be too much. So maybe we could do two or three in one lesson. And um, I, I want you guys to really understand and, um, you know, ask questions if you have it. You know, if you want to see the vocabulary longer or, you know, anything, just let us know because we do want to help you, but also we are helping ourselves as well because um, if you heard Lily reading at first, she started off stuttering quite quick, but um, after maybe the second sentence, it got better. <laughs> And I think that with her reading more um, in English and Korean, that it will be better. Oh, and I do want to tell you the asterisk on, on the Hangul one was only one star. Um, lesson two is like two stars. Lesson three is two stars. Lesson four is or five is two stars. Lesson six is three stars. So there are higher levels, and they do give you all that vocabulary. If you would like us to, like, if you want me to type out the vocabulary in the description, you know, just let me know all the things because I do want to be as much assistance as I can to everyone as well because this is helping me study and I'm helping you study because I want us all to win and I want us all to be able to. And this is helping well. me with my studying. Yes, and you know, we can all help each other. So, guys, with that, we hope that you had it. Good time and keep on listening. And we know you're gonna get it. Get it. Alright all right, guys, and that is all for today's podcast. And we hope you enjoyed our good and bungle box. And we hope to see you again next Sunday. Well, maybe Saturday for some of you. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Because some people live in America. Right. So and with that, good and win out. I'm going to get Lily out. So, let's keep on buzzing. Bye, honey pot. Bye, bye, honey pot. Uh, we hope you'll be buzzing out of us. We hope you'll be buzzing out of us. All right.